Hey guys, so I had a question from someone on TikTok, TB on TikTok, uh, asking Rough How, um, because they were considering getting the uh, procedure done. First off, hey TB, hey. <laughs> yes, so um, when I say Rough, you know, once you come home, from the facility, you will not be able to stand up straight. Uh, you will be covered in, um, they're gonna, you're gonna be put in this garment that snaps all the way down with like the little bra strap hook. You'll be covered in puppy pads and sanitary napkins to catch the drainage, of course. Um, when you get home, every hour and 30 minutes for me, I had to change out those pads. And um, you know, uh, that was tough. That was really tough, especially because when you open that garment to remove those puppy pads and things like that, it's, it, it's a change of pressure in your body. So I I felt like he had support <laughs> with me for the first three days. Uh, my best friend went home on the fourth day that morning. And so uh, just taking care of my everyday daily needs was very difficult because I felt like um, I'm a strong friend and don't really need a whole lot of support. I can do it on my own. This has taught me a real lesson and you need community and uh, a mate. Because, <laughs> you know, um, whether you have children or pets or just having to take care of your daily needs, standing up, bending, and even having to sit down is going to be very uncomfortable because of the pressure that is going to be, um, you know, from the lidocaine that they put you, that they put inside of you. And so you will be swollen. You won't be able to bend down comfortably. If you drop something, you're going to think real hard before you actually have to, before you pick it up. Like, do I need this shit right here? Or can I just let this stay here for a minute? <laughs> so, <laughs> If it's a piece of paper or something, you might, you know, I don't know. Because <laughs> I dropped my phone and was strongly considering leaving it under my bed for a couple of days because it was just, I, I had to be creative in the way I picked well, it up. You will not be at full capacity. You, Your body will constantly remind you that you're not at full capacity. I was, thank God I work from home. If you work a nine to five and you have to move around a lot, do not take off for at least three weeks. Take off that first week is hard, you know, but I'm just now in a month and three weeks uh, able to stand up straight. I'm still very swollen, but it's not like it was. Um, you know, you are you are gonna need that community and that support. So anybody that can rally around you and is willing to support you for at least three weeks, take it. You won't be able to rest. <laughs> um, you can't lay on your back. Don't do it. <laughs> You'll be laying on your side or sitting up straight, which is not very comfortable. You um, you can't take a bath for three days. You're gonna be taking whole baths for the first three days, so you know, just it, it's it's a it was it was quite a bit that was very challenging for me at first. But